This is NANFAN, a new laboratory of agricultural science. Here, they are dedicated to breeding fine seeds of Chinese rice for the world. Hainan is an important base of off-season breeding. NANFAN, a science to breed rice, corn, cotton and other summer crops in the subtropical or tropical areas in South China in winter after the harvest in autumn. Three or four generations can be bred in as short as a single year. Sanya in Hainan, blessed with tropical climate, has bred many rice species suited to foreign countries, especially tropical countries. The favorable natural endowment makes Hainan a dreamland of agricultural scientists, including Qi Jiang Dong. In 2016, Qi Jiang Dong, a postgraduate from Chia Chiang Normal University, came to Hainan as a tropical rice researcher. He spends most of his time in the fields. Kanya October in Sanya is the rainy season and time for autumn harvest. This is the National Nan Fan breeding base in Haitang Bay, Sanya. Xi Chiang Dong and Liu Xu Yao are checking the crops. Every year, this is a restless month. They must tag and archive every rice species in the test plots before the typhoon comes. 现在这个水稻啊，整个是差不多快成呃黄熟了，它的碎布性状现在像这样的话，大约就是一百五十粒左右，然后它的分镊啊，一般就是十几个镊嘛。Chi works in very hot rice fields. He and his fellow researchers test tens of thousands of rice species to find out the most productive and strongest ones. Unless you're close to him, or you hardly believe this man with a good tan is only 31. Breeding is the core of hybrid rice study and a complicated, systematic work. To breed a species of good comprehensive performance, you must consider its yield, disease resistance, adaptability, and taste. In his last check, Qi Chang Dong noticed some species in the test plots had a symptom of bacterial blight. They're working on the prevention of diseases, including bacterial blight. Six months ago, Ji Chang Dong's Tropical Rice Research Center and his team began to cooperate with Sanya, Overseas Seed Research and Development Company Limited of Longping High Tech. Tarinya 然后形成了一些中间材料，目前正在那个挖掘苗头很好的这些组合，然后形成新的品种。In answer to China's Belt and Road Initiative, Longping High Tech takes a two-way approach to globalization through international assistance 
and overseas market expansion in Philippines, Vietnam, India, and Pakistan. It has hybrid rice R&D subcenters of localized breeding. Ji Chang Tong and his team must grasp the opportunity to cooperate with Longping High Tech. With them, they are now doing the rice 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 This is Sanya Nanfan Research Institute. In the lab of Tropical Rice Research Center, Ji Chang Dong and Liu Xu Yao are testing the rice quality. Ji 我们最关注的一个就是它那个长宽的那个比值。如果是我们一个个去用人工去评判的话，总有那个差异啊，因为你看很多很多，你看着看着，你两两眼会会分不清的。同样条件下说的说句话的话，我们就能知道我们的方向
Ji Chang Dong always comes to give technical guidance. Thanks to his field instructions and modern technologies such as integrated disease control, villagers are surprised by the high yield compared with traditional production methods. The unit output value is over 3,000 yuan per mu now. The villagers' smiles tell how happy they are with the good harvest. Ji Jiang Dong and his teammates, all post 80s, give their best time to the land of Nanfan and have presented remarkable achievements. They developed high quality, high yield rice species suited to tropical regions and built up the whole process planting expertise. They helped Hainan enhance its breeding strengths and boost the tropical rice industry. Today, boosted by the development of Hainan Free Trade Port and centering on the national Nan Fan breeding base, Hainan is becoming China's seed base camp. More and more energetic young people, agricultural masters and doctors, born in 1980s and 1990s, are coming to work on the fields and seeds in Nanfan. Statistics show 80% of the scientists in Nanfan are young guys. They are the backbone researchers. More and more young rice researchers like Ji Chiang Dong and Tao Hong Tian are coming and bringing more and more Chinese elements to the whole world along the Belt and Road.